Hello, team. I can't tell you how excited I am. I know that uh, this has kind of been a long awaited uh, presentation that we're about to give you here. I'm joined by my, uh, my good friend, Gary Jones. So he's here, uh, he's here with us as well. And we're both really, really excited about what we're gonna present to you. I know that uh, you all have been waiting anxiously for more information, not only on the brand and the product, but also the name. Of, uh, of our new company and and uh, it's it's I gotta tell you uh, Noel's been making making fun of me uh, for how much fun I've been having actually playing this wheel of fortune if you will game with you guys and so we're, we've come to the last letter and uh, and we're excited to have the opportunity to present the, the name of the company to you in conjunction with what uh, what we believe is a very very exciting brand and product story uh, you know, as we've worked through this uh, entire process, one thing that has become very clear uh, to, to, to me is how important, you know, creativity and innovation are uh, in, our, uh, in our business, in life, in any successful company. And I think it was, uh, you know, Walt Disney here. There's Walt and, uh, and, and Mickey Mouse and the current, you know, the CEO of, of Walt Disney, Rob Iger. Uh, you know, he rightly presents that the heart and soul of a company is creativity and, and, and innovation. And, uh, you know, the heart and soul of our company is, is you. But from our standpoint, being creative and innovative uh, as a company is really what sets successful companies apart. We've spent a lot of time uh, on that in, in not only being creative, but frankly, being very innovative from a, from a product standpoint, very excited uh, about what we built, what we're building. And I hope that you're going to be as excited as uh, Gary and I are uh, and some other folks that we've got working with us uh, on this uh, project. So this is kind of a culmination of, uh, of a lot of hard work coming together. And this is the first piece we want to present to you. So long awaited, your, uh, your, your waiting has ended. Um, Anyway, the objectives, just wanted to be able to lay this out, out for you uh, because this is really how, how we want to approach this. And what's most important is, is how you feel. And what we really want you to feel uh, as we walk through this presentation is, uh, is, is comfortable. We want you to have a great level of comfort that you've made the right choice. Um, hashtag sticking with, with, with Rick. And the, and the waiting. And I know these last couple of months have felt very long. I mean, I know this last couple of months have felt like, felt like a year. And I know how many of you were approached by other, by other companies and, and, um, and many of you may have already gone over and started uh, dabbling and sharing another product line because you had to and, and you had to make sure you had that stream of, of income. But, uh, but for those of you watching this and, and you've been waiting and we've been in communication, and I've been telling you more is coming, more is coming. It takes a little bit of time. Uh, I do want you to be comfortable and feel comfortable you've made the right choice. I'm confident that you will by the time we get through this, this presentation. We want you to be happy with transparency. Uh, you know, I only know one way to do it. I mean, what you see is what you get with me. I shoot straight from the hip. And I believe that that transparency is what's critical to building strong, lasting relationships and trust in one another. And that trust uh, you having trust in me and in, in our company that we're building is mission critical to our success. So I want you to be happy with that transparency and, and, and most importantly, our, our partnership as we move forward. We also want you to feel uh, energetic. We want you to feel energized. We want you to feel enthusiastic, uh, more so than ever before. And I got to tell you, I've been, it, it makes me very happy to be in the many communications, conversations, uh, as well as as well as the digital communications with 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 you all, and hearing from you firsthand how excited you are about the fact that we're starting a brand new thing here together. And you know, you hear terms like ground floor, those those sorts of things. Well, it's it's pretty neat when you think about it, and you're able to actually build something from the ground up. We're able to build it the way we want it. We're able to build it in a creative and in an innovative way to ensure success. Uh, your success, and then, of course, the success of, uh, of our company. So those are really the objectives. We want you to feel proud uh, as well of the brand and the products that we're going to present to you today, as proud 
as I know Gary and I feel uh, about what we're building. It's a great sense of pride in, in being part of something and building it from, from the ground up. And, and uh, we're hoping that you feel that same pride as you're sharing those products, these new products when they get here uh, with, uh, with your current clients and hopefully lots of new clients as well. So that's, that's really what we want to cover off and uh, we're, we're excited about it. First thing I want to share is, is our mission. And what's important about a, a, a mission is that it, it basically a mission statement says, look, this is what I want to, this is a difference that I want to make in the world. This is who we are as a company and what we represent um, and what we actually want to bring to the world. And it's hard sometimes for a mission statement or a vision statement to be so all encompassing so that it, 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 it covers off all the different aspects uh, of our business, uh, for one, our product, people, our opportunity, when really it's a forward facing statement. So it's something that we want to use to engage everyone, not just ourselves, but we want to be able to engage the end consumer, the person that we're talking to about our company. So that's, that's what I believe our mission does. Our mission is to build confidence through nurturing and developing the true beauty and potential of every woman. Now, this doesn't mean that we're not gonna be selling products to men, but we are certainly a female-centric business. And building confidence in women is, is something that I believe we can all be proud of, and I believe it is a wonderful mission to aspire to as a company. Our vision. Our vision is to develop the best skincare and beauty products in the world. And that may sound like a big vision to you, but it is our vision. We want to build and develop the best skincare and beauty products in the world, and we can do that. We've got an incredible team uh, that's, that's already beginning to lay the groundwork of accomplishing exactly that. We also want to create an inclusive community and an ethical selling machine uh, that empowers women to make a difference, a difference in their own life and in the lives of others. So you see the harmony between the mission and the vision. The vision really says, well, how we're, how we're going to do it. We're going to do it through developing incredible skincare, the best skincare and beauty products in the world, an incredible inclusive community, of an ethical selling machine. And uh, we want to empower you to make a difference, not only in your own life, but in the lives of others. So I hope that resonates with you. I believe it certainly will uh, with, with the end consumer. So market trends. I'm just sort of going to open this piece and then I'm going to hand over to Gary. You, you, you really can't um, um, explain the value of being on trend as a, as a company. Sometimes it is, again, one of the beautiful benefits of a, a new company and building a new company. It's very difficult to move from one lane into another when you talk about trends, but it's, it's much easier to start in the right lane, and that's exactly what we've done. There are specific trends uh, in the market that are driving the consumption, right? Driving consumers toward a skincare and beauty purchase today. And some of those things we, we, we talked about earlier, the transparency, uh, the partnership, some of those things are really driving trends uh, in the market space today. Not to mention the kinds of products uh, that people are consuming and why they're consuming those products. So I'm excited, again, about this starting uh, a brand new business. We're on trend, uh, and in some cases we are uh, very much at the forefront of trends that are already beginning to gain traction uh, in the beauty industry, predominantly in, in, in skincare. So very excited. Again, uh, happy to be here with you. And I'm now going to pass over to my friend, uh, my friend Gary. Hey, thanks, Rick. You know, I, I just want to start out by saying to all of you how happy I am to be back working with you all. Um, you know, you all were the highlight of my career. Um, in this industry, and I am thrilled to be able to to be able to partner with Rick here and and partner with all, each of you in this amazing journey we're going going to have. I am so super excited about where we're headed, what we've got to move forward with, and the potential we have for you all to just have explosive growth in your personal businesses. So um, 
I'm happy to be here and thank you for welcoming, welcoming me back. And Rick, thank you for welcoming me on board because you know, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't be doing this with a better person. So I'm, I'm thrilled. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm gonna do with talking about market trends is really just look at some of the current trends that are in the market, as well as some of the rising trends that are really influencing consumer behavior um, in, in the market today. Um, regardless of what industry we're in, whether we're in clothing or beverage or food or cosmetics, really the, the push toward natural and naturally derived is a huge trend that has been growing tremendously over the past decade, and particularly, but it's really become the criteria that people are using to, or consumers are using to make choices in everything that they purchase. Another key trend that's currently out there is the, the trend of transparency and full disclosure. Today's consumer fully expects to understand what you stand for as a brand, how you formulate your products, your ethics, your integrity, your values, what's in the formulas, what's not in the formulas, how are they tested, et cetera. So that's something that we really will play directly into, as you'll see, with this new positioning for the new company. Some rising trends that we have out there, you know, I knew these numbers were high, but you know, I've, I've been living in a you know, pretty low tech world for the last year and a half, and I haven't really been looking at all of these trends specifically, and I'm shocked at how, how high and how significant some of these trends really are. Um, according to a recent study, 50% of, of consumers typically use skincare that are formulated for sensitive skin and free of synthetic fragrances. 48% usually look for products that are made from natural or organic ingredients. And 40% usually buy products that are free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, and or gluten. The significance in this number really lies in the, in the growth of this statistic. From 2015, it was only 33% to 40%, you know, in, in 2017. And, you know, I think that really speaks directly to the fact that today's consumers are exposed and informed and educated about the, the ingredients that they, that are in products or in food and how they can affect positively or adversely affect um, our health and well being. And, you know, once we, once we're equipped with knowledge and information, then we have to make a choice whether or not we're going to incorporate that into our, into our lifestyles. And you can see a rising, a great um, number of people and a very quickly rising statistic shows that people are indeed making these adjustments into their um, personal care regimens. So women have become increasingly selective about the products they're using, but a good thing is that they're willing to expand their product use um, greater than they had in the past. Twice daily use of facial cleansers and moisturizers, which are the top two most commonly used products in a skincare regimen, have grown since 2015. And a number that I really love is that more women today are using four or more facial skincare products in a typical day. So that speaks very well to the use of regimens and the use of regimens that were formulated to work together to really give optimal results. So today's consumer is really open and understands the value of that. Now, you know, in our journey to provide more natural skincare, cleaner um, ingredients, we really went down a road of what's called nature natural, where we use plant-based ingredients, you know, in the raw form, in a formula, to really give a more natural positioning. Well, and that seems to be the road that many um, companies have taken, many brands have taken in developing skincare products. And that shows no sign of weakening, not only because that's the direction that companies are moving in their development of products, but also that's the cr criteria that today's consumer is adopting in every aspect of her life. But as a result, you know, from a brand's perspective and from the perspective of, of you all who, who are selling the product, it becomes harder to separate yourself or distinguish yourself in this very fast growing me too natural skincare sector. So that's really where we see our opportunity. You know, while there are so many natural ingredients and natural brands that are out there, the use of prebiotics and probiotics and the role that they play in maintaining healthy and beautiful skin 
is something that really hasn't been tapped into. And with the use of many of, many of today's skincare products, we unknowingly disrupt or negatively affect the balance of that healthy bacteria, which we call flora on the skin, which is a critical element of healthy skin, overall well-being, and overall health. So let's just look at, you know, kind of the market size, the beauty market size, which I think is a, an important thing to look at as it relates to what's selling on the market today and, and, and really where is the growth. The estimated personal care beauty market is at $62 billion here in the U.S. Now, personal care would include oral care, fragrance, skin care, body care, really anything that's within that personal care arena. Now, specifically looking at skin care sales, in 2016, $3 billion was spent in the natural skin care sector, and that is the fastest growing sector of the marketplace. Now, another significant number is this $9 billion, which is the size of the U.S. skincare market. So skincare sales were at $9 billion. Natural skincare sales were at $3 billion. That's a third of the total skincare sales in the U.S. dedicated to the natural skincare sector. So it is, you can see, fast growing, but a significantly um, growing um, area. Now, I mentioned probiotics a minute ago, so it's important to really look at that market size as well. $37 billion is the 2016 global pro probiotic size market size. So you can see it's huge. In fact, you know, you can't really turn on the television or a magazine today without seeing an advertisement for a new form of, of probiotics, whether it's a, a new nut nutritional supplement that you ingest or whether it's um, yogurt or whether it is um, you know, probiotic drinks. It really is such a fast moving and evolving marketplace. Um, so it's, 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 it, I would say in the wellness category, it is the most significant trend and one of the fastest growing sections of the natural market as well. So you may not be aware of it, but your skin has what's called a microbiome. And the microbiome is this vast ecosystem of healthy bacteria or flora. And this flora plays a crucial role in every aspect of our complexion. Now your microbiome is formed from the moment of birth and it's influenced by your diet, by your experiences, medications you may have taken, what you're exposed to, and even where you live. You know, before we're born, we live in a perfectly sterile environment free of any bacteria or microbes. And at the moment of birth, we actually take on our mother's microbiome for the purpose of keeping us protected from you know, harmful bacteria that could compromise our health. You know, when we breastfeed, we ingest the, the mother's microbiome to provide our, our gut health with the, with the healthy bacteria or flora that we need to really maintain health both from the inside and the out. Now this flora or this good bacteria really fights off bad bacteria and it defends us and it teaches our immune system the difference between what's good and what's bad. So it strengthens skin immunity and it regulates normal skin function. But you know, our microbiome doesn't just protect or defend our skin, it also feeds our skin. Vitamins like B3, B6, B12, and vitamin K are all produced by our microbiome, and then they are absorbed into our skin in the form of life-giving nutrition. So you can see it's very important that this microbiome function um, effectively and accurately. Your microbiome is really more than skin deep. It doesn't just exist on the surface of the skin. It actually penetrates all the way through, through the dermis, all the way to the subcutaneous fat tissues. Um, and the purpose is really to communicate with the immune system. The flora that's found on your skin is really designed to protect your skin from unwanted irritants and invaders that can cause things like breakouts or skin irritation or premature aging, or even more serious conditions like acne, rosacea, and psoriasis, which are all direct, directly related to a compromised microbiome. So when your microbiome is healthy, it becomes harder for the unhealthy and damaging microbes to cause damage to the skin. So if you think about it, a balanced microbiome equals a healthy immune response, which equals healthy, beautiful skin. You know, just a, a quick analogy. If it's just say you were 
you were on stage, you were, you know, you were doing a performance of some kind. Well, who do you want sitting on the front row? Well, you want those people that you know have your best interest at heart. Those people that are wanting you to do your best and perform your best. You know, those are the people you want right on the front row cheering you on and, and making you, you know, feel protected and safe. Well, if one of those people gets up and moves or you know, few of those people get up and move, it leaves empty seats. And when those seats are empty, anyone can come sit on the front row. And the last thing you want is a heckler to sit there, you know, who, who's, who doesn't have your best interest in mind, who doesn't want you to perform, you know, at, at your best. And so that's what the microbiome is. It's that friendly flora that's right there protecting us and, and allowing our skin to function effectively and properly. So what happens when you have an unbalanced microbiome? Well, the cause of an un, unbalanced microbiome is really pretty simple. You know, our lifestyle has changed so much, our diet and nutrition has changed, but also we've been using a lot of products that really haven't been, um, haven't been healthy for our microbiome. A lot of the beauty and hygiene products that we use every day really can destroy the good bacteria that we need on our skin to maintain the health and, and beauty of our skin. You know, the, the use of these following um, things can really create an environment where unhealthy bacteria can, can actually flourish on the skin. Harsh cleansers, excess chemicals, soaps, aggressive preservatives, antibacterial ingredients, antibiotics, and even chemicals that we ingest through our diet. And when we have a compromised uh, microbiome, well, we're gonna have increased sen skin sensitivity, skin conditions that, that are you know, based on, on uh, unbalanced microbiome, such as acne, rosacea, psoriasis, premature aging, or dull dehydrated skin. I even read a report the other day that directly relates the health of the microbiome to the ability to stave off UV exposure. And if you think about it, 85 to 90% of the signs of aging are caused from UV exposure. And if our skin's not equipped to protect our bodies from that, well, it's no wonder that you know, premature aging is really on the rise. So all of that really is just to say, we have a different and better understanding of the science of gorgeous skin. You know, we know that we have to have products that are healthy, products that are designed for your health and wellness. We've got to have products that focus on your beauty, but we also have to have products that project an aura of honesty or truth, of wellness, of balance, of confidence. So with all that being said, Rick and I are very excited to share with you our new brand, True Aura. True Aura. True Aura. What a great name, Gary. You know, we were, we were playing uh, Hangman or Wheel of Fortune here the last week for seven days. I've had, uh, I've had over 6,000 women on the edge of their seats with this, and uh, quite a few of them wanted to buy an A. They wanted to buy a vowel. Uh, so, so there it is, uh, True Aura. And I think that you, you, you put it very well uh, that, that we really want to make sure that we're supporting and evoking an aura of confidence. And it even goes back to our, to our mission statement that uh, we know if we can uh, help uh, women look and feel beautiful, that that's what we want to ensure that they're exuding to others. So anyway, I, I hope you guys uh, uh, like that name as much as we do. Of course, Gary and I have been looking at it for, for uh, quite a bit longer than, than, uh, than you have. But uh, great introduction uh, there of that, uh, Gary. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think I think it is. I, I think it's a beautiful name. I, I think it it definitely speaks to our mission and our vision, and it really conveys. You know, that we do want we want everyone who is engaged with our brand to have you know a, a feeling of confidence and a feeling of of wellness, and, you know, and and balance because that's really exactly what today's consumers are looking for. And particularly, you know, somebody who's joining us, you know, to, to sell the product, we want to create an environment that fosters that for everyone as well. So welcome everyone to True Aura. Um, you know, I'm very excited about this. And if you think about it, it's like health food for your skin. So our focus is to create products that are clean and safe and promote that healthy skin flora 
which is going to really support overall skin wellness. And in this way, we're redefining what natural skincare really means. You know, like I said, it's health food for your skin. It's the same thing when you, when you, you know, ingest a healthy diet, we know that that increases the wellness of our bodies. This is like health food for your skin to give your skin a diet of nutrition and good for you ingredients that really help to increase skin wellness and health. So we focus on safety and concentration, but also on minimal ingredients. In fact, we have a 30 ingredient maximum policy to ensure that we're using only the most efficacious ingredients and we're using them at their effective levels to make sure that you're getting the results that, that you want in your skincare, both immediate results and long-term anti-aging results. Our ingredients are either naturally derived or bioidentical, meaning that they mimic ingredients that are components that are naturally found in the skin. And we use no synthetic thickeners, colors, fragrances, or ingredients that have any link whatsoever to any irritation or negative um, health concerns. And finally, our products are gluten-free and never tested on animals, which we know is you know, something that today's consumer really demands. So think of this as healthy skin from the inside out. You know, probiotics are huge in the marketplace right now, and really everyone knows of them as those good for you bacteria that really work to improve your health, not only on the inside, but also on the outside. Now we use either prebiotics or probiotics in all of our Truara formulas. And the same bacteria that you use or that you know that, that's good for to calm your stomach, those same probiotics are also clinically proven to help restore your skin's natural balance. They're going to leave your, you more hydrated, leave your skin more radiant and resistant to future damage. So really we're feeding our skin with clean, clinically proven, high quality ingredients that nourish your skin the same way that a healthy diet nourishes your body. We formulate with prebiotics, probiotics, and targeted advanced anti-aging ingredients that deliver specific benefits to the skin. So probiotics, those are those good for you bacteria that are found in our bodies and they're protein, vitamin, and mineral rich, and they're going to protect us against any of that harmful bacteria and um, negative environmental irritants. So how do we use them? Well, we use them in all of our formulas so, because applying probiotics to your skin can stimulate the production of defense cells that restore your skin's natural balance and stabilize the immune system. So not only does your skin look healthy, young and clear, but it decreases sensitivity, redness and inflammation. So how do probiotics work? Probiotics balance your skin by strengthening your skin barrier and your microbiome, which is that vast um, colony or, or community of healthy bacteria that serves as the first line of defense against pollution, allergens, toxins, and other environmental stressors. A strong and balanced microbiome is essential for radiant, supple, and healthy skin, regardless of your age. Now, probiotic skin care is you know, we're not, the, we're not the only ones who have an interest in probiotic skincare. In fact, the, there's been a lot of, top, a lot of talk about uh, the use of probiotics in skincare um, in national magazines and publications that you're very familiar with. Here's a great example, Allure magazine. According to experts, probiotics seem to improve chronic inflammatory skin diseases like acne, rosacea, and eczema. Probiotics may also be helpful in warding off signs of aging. Here's one from Vogue magazine. Nurturing the microbiome. This is the future of skincare. And also Glamour magazine. I've been researching the effects of using skincare with probiotics in it, and it's pretty fascinating stuff. It's officially the thing I'm most excited to try. So you can see that there's a great talk of, of the benefits of probiotics not only in our bodies, but also on our skin. Now, we know that educating the consumer is going to be something that's very important for us to do um, in this new world of, of formula development. And you know, the fact is that over the years, consumers have over scrubbed, over stripped, over washed, over, you know, over lathered their skin in, in, the, in the pursuit of beauty. 
And Truora, at Truora, we believe that beautiful skin really begins with not noticeable results in your skin condition. The problem with many formulations is the use of ingredients that disrupt the skin's natural balance or its microbiome. You know, and I'll give you a great example of that. You know, for years, we, we've, all form, we've all formulated products very similarly. You know, for dry skin, we threw in a lot of emollients and film formers. And what we now know is that many of those ingredients had a tendency to suffocate the microbiome and not allow the healthy bacteria or flora to really flourish on our skin. Now, the same is true for oily skin formulation. You know, we formulated with, with you know, heavy surfactants, you know, a lot of ingredients that, that really strip the skin to, to remove the oil, um, antibacterial ingredients, particularly if we're using acne type products. And what, what we've done is we've stripped away the microbiome and compromised the health. So, you know, it's no wonder when somebody starts using a system for this acne, for example, they're not, they don't always see those immediate tremendous results. Fact is, a healthy microbiome really keeps the skin in a state of homeostasis or, or really balance to allow everything to function the way that it should be functioning. So we don't have to formulate with those extremes of very dry or very oily like we did before. Now, while many consumers really already understand or at least familiar with the use of prebiotics and probiotics in the skin, and the difference between those are, the, like I said before, the probiotic is that healthy bacteria that really helps to ward off the, the harmful bacteria. A prebiotic is actually a food source that gives the probiotic energy and allows it to stay active and effective on the skin for a longer period of time. So consumers know what those things are. They've heard of them. They may have even started incorporating them into their, into their internal health regimens. But we really have to educate the consumer on the importance of these probiotics and prebiotics and the effect that they have for attaining healthy skin and protecting the balance of our microbiome. Now, the great thing about this microbiome-friendly concept is that it really transcends traditional age-related demographics. The consumer today, regardless of their age, um, the, consumer, the consumer will attract is someone who is conscientious about using products that will boost her individual health and skin condition. She's someone who's selective about what she puts on her skin and in her body. So specifically, the primary customer for Truora is going to be somebody who's health conscious and selective when it comes to the ingredients found in their skincare products. They expect transparency. And I know from answering questions, you know, in, in our, our previous world, you know, I know that many of the questions that came across had, had a lot to do with ingredients and safety and, you know, what's in the formula. And so we know that the consumer that we have that will be coming on board with you to this great new opportunity is somebody who really expects that and wants that information to be available at their fingertips. The consumer that we attract will also consume a mix of digital and traditional media. So we're looking for someone who's focused on health and wellness, someone who's very connected, and our primary audience will be female. And our consumer will be influenced by, again, traditional media and digital media, such as Vogue, Allure, Glamour, that sort of thing, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. So we know that there's somebody who, who reads traditional media to gather information, to become informed and aware of what's going on in the beauty business, but also those who connect digitally through those social media channels and have a, you know, a good social community as a result. Now, one of the first things that we really tackled before we even got into for the formula development is really what we call our product purity promise. And this is something that is, in today's environment, is, uh, it's a point of entry. It's, it's really where you have to be to compete in today's very, um, with today's market and, and a very informed consumer. So we really want to make sure that, you know, we take any objection off the table that you might have when selling to a potential consumer, you know, by taking out any of those ingredients that, that they may have read about, that they may have heard or, 
you know, a, a friend told them is something that they shouldn't or wouldn't use in their skincare. So by taking that objection off the table, we really open the door for a product line that's easily shared with complete confidence for the consumers that you'll attract. So to today, the Truor product will be formulated with ingredients that are either natural or bioidentical. And of course, we're going to keep them all free from synthetic fragrances, parabens, phthalates, sulfates, and gluten, because we know that's what you demand. But you know, we went even further beyond that. We really scoured databases, environmental working group databases, and literature that really um, <clears throat> talked about ingredients that have been linked to some negative health concerns or are potential irritants. And we've really just created a, a very strict no list. You know, there are some ingredients we just will not use and we have to, and we're formulating around all of those to make sure that you have a product that is completely safe, it's free of irritation, um, any of those concerns that would be a problem with you selling with confidence and an end consumer using the product with complete confidence confidence. So if we look at our com competitive, adva competitive advantages, I think you'll see we've got a pretty sweet spot here when it comes to differentiating ourselves in the market. We are creating a brand new niche in the social selling industry, entering the fast growing probiotic and microbiome skincare and beauty space. Our product offering will resonate with and delight today's educated health and wellness beauty consumer. When we look at our place in the market, really we are positioned beautifully right here in the fast growing natural skincare and beauty industry within the social selling industry. Our advantages are we've got over 5,000 beauty consultants who are ready to start using the products and sharing the products. Now that's quite a startup. And our differentiator will be the first, the very first. Now how often can you really say that? We're going to be the first probiotic and microbiome skincare and cosmetic company in the social selling space, which gives you a totally complete, uh, our, our completely um, unique positioning in the category that's the fastest growing. And just to show you some, some of our competition within this arena, just to show you the potential of, of tremendous growth, let's look at Beauty Counter founded in 2013, who I have to say up until now, I've, I really thought of as best in class when it came to safe, natural skincare. Until now, because I really think we've got a new, a brand new energized focus on this category, unlike anything that you're going to see. So Beauty Counter, founded in 2013 with 2016 revenues of $225 million. So they hit the ground and they just exploded and they grew very quickly. That speaks very well to what today's consumer is looking for and how a brand that provides that solution can really grow leaps and bounds very quickly. Um, Unique is another product, sorry to skip that slide, um, who was launched in 2012 and had 2016 revenues of $400 million. So again, another huge, huge market. Gary, I just want to I just want to add there quickly that the point of adding those in into the presentation, as you as you rightly pointed out with with Beauty Counter, is seeing how a startup with an on trend uh, product strategy can really catapult right into some really exciting results. And the point of of adding unique to that list wasn't that they're a natural skincare company because they're they're not but they're very driven through social media and through technology and tools. And we're not talking about that part tonight, but we will be talking about that part tonight, that we're gonna cover both of those aspects that are important today in really supporting a business blossom and grow. So on trend from a product standpoint and on trend from a technology standpoint, you'll never replace a face-to-face -face relationship and that's on trend as well, by the way. The personalized service is on trend as well, but so is connecting uh, through social media, that connection that you spoke about earlier. So that's why we put those, uh, those up there just as a barometer to say, hey, look, look at what, look at what can happen when you're running in, in the right lane, whether it be the natural product lane uh, that we're, we're certainly going to uh, uh, 
gonna, gonna take advantage of and that we're gonna lead in, but also that, uh, that technology lane as well. Exactly, thanks Rick, that's a, that's a great point. Yeah, I and mean, I think all of it to say is we've got a tremendous opportunity here to, to you know, be in a fast growing market, but do something so totally different and really make a name for ourselves doing it, you know, the right way. Now, speaking of doing it the right way, I want to roll out um, our products for you. I know you're excited to hear about that. Um, you know, we'll have more product training available, that, you know, to go through specific features and benefits of all products. This is really just to give you a top line overview of the ingredient types that we've included in our products to really show you how we have formulated these to have not only those great pre and probiotic ingredients, but also those really effective anti-aging ingredients that are going to deliver great results immediately and phenomenal results as you continue to use the products. So as Rick has mentioned before, we'll be launching with seven products out of the gate. Four of those will be in the core skincare line. So in the core skincare, we will have a cleanser, a toner, a day lotion, and a night cream. And then we will have three anti-aging treatments, an anti-aging day treatment, an anti-aging night treatment, and an anti-aging eye treatment. Now our goal with, with really creating these products was to combine the best benefits from a variety of different products that you may have used and shared in the past and incorporated them into easy to use regimens. Our goal is to be able to have a product line and a regimen that is easily um, identified and, and easily sold to the consumer and they, and they fit nicely into their AM and PM regimen to make sure they're getting maximum results from just a limited amount of products to really show them how powerful these products can be. So I'm going to just run through the products briefly and give you an overview. We're gonna start off with the cleanser. Now, this cleanser is a beautiful lotion cleanser. It's not going to lather and foam up like some of the, the other cleansers that you may have used in the past. And the purpose of that is because we really want to, to maintain and restore the integrity of our microbiome. And keeping the skin you know, cleansed and hydrated is a very key element of doing that. So, we'll make, so this is a, a lotion cleanser suitable for all skin types. It rinses clean, it removes makeup, it gets rid of environmental debris, but it's also appropriate for dry skin combination and even oily skin. The, some of the key ingredients would be shea butter and coconut milk, which are going to soften the skin and give it a moisturized feeling. Aloe leaf extract or juice, which helps to calm irritated, stressed skin. And then a prebiotic that <clears throat> decreases acne causing bacteria, but it also aids in skin renewal and reduces skin sensitivity. Again, this pre prebiotic is in there to really provide a source of nutrition for the probiotics so they can stay active and effective for a longer period of time. Now our toner is, is very much like toners you may have used in the past, but also very different. This is a micellar toning water. So it's going to contain those micelles, which again, help to remove any cleanser residue, help remove any environmental dirt and debris, and leave the skin with a very refreshed but hydrated feeling. It has peony flower extract, which is a great ingredient, not only because it provides a wonderful scent to the fragrance, but also because it is an, a, a natural skin soothing ingredient as well. Uh-oh, sorry about that. Give me just a sec, I'm having a a technical, a little bit of technical difficulty here. All right, sorry about that. Now we get into our day lotion. Now the day lotion is really, uh, it's a beautiful uh, daytime moisturizer that's going to hydrate the skin, it's going to protect the moisture barrier to really allow the skin to retain its own moisture. You're going to see that it has a really powerful peptide in this formula. And this peptide is really designed 
to strengthen what's called the dermal epidermal junction. Now that's that really, that fine layer of, of mesh fibers of collagen and elastin that attach the dermis to the epidermis. So when we strengthen the collagen and elastin, it's actually like strengthening the scaffolding of our skin. So it's going to smooth out the wrinkles from the inside out. So it's a very, very effective and powerful peptide. We also have a probiotic that is going to help inhibit the growth of unhealthy bacteria, but also enhance the skin's barrier function. So when your barrier function is strengthened, what you'll notice is that the skin hangs on to moisture more effectively, but also it staves off environmental aggressors more effectively as well. We also have a bio-boosted skin brightening ingredient, which is actually activated by the skin's microbiome. So when your microbiome is healthy and you formulate with these pre and probiotics, it actually boosts and, and stimulates the, the effectiveness of the skin brightening ingredient, which not only is going to lighten the skin discolorations to create a more even skin tone, but also provide antioxidant and DNA protection and protect the skin from UV damage, which we know is very important. We also have hydrolyzed jojoba esters. Now, jojoba is an ingredient that I love because it mimics the skin's own oil production. So by supplementing the skin with this great ingredient, it's going to boost the skin's moisture and, and help the, the skin to hold on to moisture longer. And then our good friend, Elantuan, which is a really good skin soothing ingredient. Now, as we move into the night cream, you know, clearly this is a, this is a more um, emollient formula than the day lotion to provide you with more hydration while you sleep, but also very skin specific ingredients to aid in the cellular renewal and recovery as we sleep. So we've got a powerful peptide that really promotes or that really minimizes wrinkles and improves tone and elasticity by stimulating collagen and elastin production. We have a great probiotic in there, which again, helps to stave off that harmful bacteria, strengthen the skin's barrier, which is going to protect you from, from the environment and help the skin hang on to moisture longer. And then that same bio, bioactivated skin brightener to help even the skin tone and protect from DNA damage, UV exposure, and antioxidant damage. Now, as we move into our, our um, treatment products, you're going to see that these are, are really formulated with very high-end um, new peptides and anti-aging ingredients um, that simply just weren't available on the market um, for, for very long. So we really are, are creating a very unique and very powerful and effective line with our treatment products. So we have a very effective skin brightening ingredient in this, pro in this product, which actually has some probiotic benefits but it's really designed to help, you know, to even the skin tone, diminish discolorations, which we know is a very key aspect of anti-aging products. This ingredient also provides anti-irritant benefits and protects from UV exposure. So you get a really a, a multi-benefit with this one um, skin brightening um, probiotic. We also have a, a natural anti-aging peptide. It's one that's naturally found in the skin and diminishes as we age. This peptide maintains and boosts collagen while providing antioxidant and anti-pollution benefits. Perfect for a day treatment. And we also have a great and powerful probiotic in here that inhibits the growth of unhealthy bacteria and increases the skin's barrier function to keep it protected and moisturized. We've got that bio-boosted skin brightening ingredient to give you really a second layer of skin brightening um, to, to really target both of the causes of, of skin hyperpigmentation. Um, and it also protects from DNA damage and UV exposure. And then we have a very specific custom multi-peptide blend that we've blended together to give you, a, it's actually three very powerful peptides. Any of them alone is very effective in an anti-aging product. Um, but when they're used together, you know, we've seen that they give very specific and tremendous benefits to help to, um, to help to minimize expression lines, which we are facial contractions, which we know can directly cause expression lines, wrinkles, fine lines, that sort of thing. Now, as we move into our anti-aging night treatment, 
you know, you're going to see a lot of the same components that you did in the day formula because AM and PM um, protection and repair are very important. And creating that sandwich effect really gives it, um, <clears throat> you know, it's very important. What, where you'll see the big difference is actually in the, in the final peptide in the formula, which is really targeted specifically for nighttime use to aid in skin recovery as we sleep. So here's that skin brightening ingredient, which is going to help minimize the discoloration. Again, when you use that as part of your core line, your daytime treatment and your nighttime treatment, you're really getting tremendous effects. We've got that natural anti-aging peptide naturally found in the skin to promote collagen and elastin production, which is gonna give you skin firmness and skin elasticity benefits, as well as antioxidant and anti-pollution. And that probiotic, which is again going to you know, feed the healthy bacteria to keep the bad bacteria at bay, balance the microbiome, and help improve barrier function. There's that bio-boosted skin brightener again, which is activated by the skin's microbiome, and give you DNA protect protection and UV protection. And then a very powerful peptide, um, specifically designed to enhance the natural mechanisms to diminish DNA damage and aid in the skin re skin's recovery process while we sleep. So this ingredient is really going to go in and help reverse age-related or UV-related damage and give us healthier skin very quickly. Now the anti-aging eye treatment, again, when we when we're formulating for the eye, there were different, there's different criteria that we really outlined. First, we have to really hydrate the skin around the eyes to keep it moist and supple to prevent lines and wrinkles, but we also want to go to work with some very powerful peptides to help erase the, the lines and wrinkles around the eyes of crow feet, crow's feet, the 11s, any lines on our forehead, our um, uh, of expression around our eyes. And then we want to um, provide ingredients that help to lighten skin discoloration, which is a very common problem um, for people around their eyes. So we have that, that same skin brightening ingredient. You know, you know what it does for lightening skin discolorations, hyperpigmentation, the same is beneficial under the eyes to help to lighten the skin, create a more luminous appearance under the eyes. We put in a very powerful humectant to really draw moisture from the environment and effectively bind water to the skin so it keeps the skin around the eyes hydrated longer. We have that probiotic blend in here, which is going to be very effective at balancing the microbiome and increasing barrier function. We have a skin, at our bio-boosted skin brightener. So again, it's another, it, it, we're targeting both, the, the, both of the effects of skin discoloration with two different ingredients in all of the treatment products, including the eye formula, to really go to work to, you know, to lighten the skin under the eyes. One ingredient I'm very excited about is this powerful new peptide that's very new to the market that was formulated specifically for the area around the eyes. The goal of this ingredient and, the, and what it's been proven to do in clinical testing is to reduce lines and wrinkles around the eyes in as little as seven days and go to work to actually target the cause of dark circles and repair that on a cellular level in as little as 14 days. So you'll see that you're getting really tremendous results very quickly, both immediate results and long-term results with continued use. Now, just to take a real quick, quick sneak peek at the packaging, or rather the labeling of the packaging, just to show you really what we're looking at and how we've, and how we've categorized all of our products. The company logo you see here with the polygon around it, um, you know, that, that's what you'll see in more of our, our, our branded pieces. Now, as we look at our labeling, we're using a more simple, a simplified logo here. And what I think you'll really love is that we've color coded all of our product categories so you can easily distinguish be between them when you have them on your counter. And I know that's something that's been a concern that, that many people have, vo have um, vocalized um, either in a previous life or um, as we've been developing this new brand. <clears throat> so what that looks like on a label, all of our core skincare will be this beautiful mint color. Um, anything that is in, in, in our tools category, so like a brush set or, you know, when we later have a microdermabrasion brush, all of those tools will be in, the, in this beautiful peach color. This poppy pink shade 
will be for all of our color products. This green tone will be used for all of our specialty skincare. This beautiful and, and energetic um, um, citrus color will be for all of our body care products. And this beautiful lavender will be for all of our treatment products. Now, as we look at our cartons, of course, the front will be very clearly branded. One thing that we can guarantee is that all of our fonts will be legible. I know that was another key concern that, that we've read recently in, in all of our postings on Facebook. So I want to just give you confidence that, you know, the fonts on the packaging and the, and the, the cartons will all be, you know, large enough to read for all of us over 40 eyes. Now, on the left side of the cartons, you're going to see that we've got a little grid here that has copy that identifies who we are as a brand. Now, I have to tell you that this copy here was just for placement. We will refine that over the coming days and weeks to really ensure that the message that it conveys here is exactly what we want our consumer to understand about our brand and about our product. Yeah, I just want to I just want to <laughs> add there, Gary, that on that left panel, just as an as an example, uh, you know, the 100% uh, vegan piece, right? Because somebody's going to hone in on that, uh, that, that the products are not 100% vegan, that these were things that we were discussing uh, at the onset. So some of those, those, uh, those phrases and terms are, are going to change. So I just wanted to, to piggyback on that. Yeah, it's a great point. Thanks, Rick. Um, now, the, the right side of the carton, the back side of the carton are going, going to be what you're very used to. The right side will have our very limited um, ingredients um, on there. The back side will be all of our marketing copy and how to use. So again, you know, in fonts that you can read, it'll be very clearly branded. And I think that you see the packaging really represents a very clean, modern and fresh brand approach. Now we'll also use our company logo on the top and the bottom of every carton. So again, it's fully branded and very recognizable as Truara. So that's pretty much it from a product standpoint, Rick. I, I, I'm really excited about everything we, we have coming out. I, I guarantee you this, this is going to be one of the most effective and luxurious skincare ranges you've ever used. And you know when you throw in the, all the benefits for health and of course those tremendous anti-aging um, benefits, you've got a line that just can't help but, but be a winner when it hits the market. So thanks for letting me be a part of this. And Rick, I'm gonna throw it back to you. Well, I appreciate it, Gary, and it's a pleasure to have you uh, and your expertise as a part of this. And I know how excited you've been throughout the process, and it's it's been uh, very reassuring, uh, quite frankly, for me, and great confirmation to to see your your excitement over what we're what we're building here. You know, I mean, there's a, a few few pieces uh, that kind of stand out to me, and and that is that we're we're again we're in the right lane. This this fast growth natural channel that we're in is uh, is the right place to be and uh, and that's that's exciting what's also exciting as gary mentioned earlier is that we're going to be the first direct selling company uh in that lane so that is a huge point of difference for you uh in your in your business and i hope you're as excited about that uh about that as i am you know this this whole movement toward wellness and and being being conscious of what we put in ourselves and what we put on ourselves you know i was speaking to a friend of mine in uh, wisconsin at, uh the other night and um just a, a guy that i i uh, respect his uh, opinion immensely and we were sort of walking through some pieces of this and his wife came in and she started listening and she got excited uh, about it I says man this this really looks uh really looks cool and she said look this is where everything is is going uh, and she talked about an application that you can put on your phone that you can take and basically I think it's take a picture of the ingredients on anything, whether it's food or skincare or whatever it is. And this thing does a little tabulation for you and it comes back and rates your brand or rates that product from one to 10 on how healthy it is for you. Uh, and I think that's just a great example of, of where the world is going and True Aura is going to be at the cutting edge uh, at the cutting edge of that. So it's, uh, it's, uh, I can't tell you how excited I am. Uh, I hope you're excited as well. I will add, by the way, as Gary was walking through the products, you know, you saw brighteners, you saw peptide, you saw probiotic, prebiotic. Well, those ingredients actually have names. They actually have 
uh, have names, but those names are trademarked by the manufacturers. And quite frankly, today I'm still uh, in, in negotiation. We're still in discussion uh, with those folks about the usage of those, uh, of those terms. So we're close to that. So they, they will have an identity uh, for you. But I think, Gary, you did a fantastic job of, of really explaining the benefits of the pre and the probiotics in particular and, and that link between gut health and, and the health of our skin, that friendly flora. Uh, most of us are familiar with the gut health and, and uh, the world's becoming more and more familiar uh, with the role that that healthy flora plays in healthy skin uh, and a healthy microbiome as well. So I hope that you all are excited. Uh, you now finally have the name of your company and much, much uh, more. So, um, yeah, it's, it's uh, exciting days ahead. This thing does have a name. We do have products. We do have Gary. We got all kind of cool things uh, that, we're, uh, that we're very, very excited about. So I hope you all uh, enjoy it. I will say this. This is, this is uh, clearly pre-recorded. We didn't want uh, any potential interruptions or somebody doesn't have their phone muted, uh, all those sorts of things. We felt this was a cleaner way uh, to go about it. But we'll put this up on the uh, Next Generation Director Facebook uh, uh, group so that, you can, uh, so that you can see it, access it. Any questions, comments there, uh, tell us how much you love it. Uh, give us your feedback on it. Uh, but you can also reach out to me directly via email uh, or Gary as well, and, and we'll answer any questions that you, uh, that you might have. So we appreciate you all very much, and uh, here we go with True Aura. Thanks, Gary. Thank you, Rick. Uh, you all take care. All right.